the All Star Game. We just got done talking in the last segment about solutions and maybe how you fix it. Um, there was an alt cast, you know, like the Manning cast for Monday Night Football. There was an alt cast for the All Star Game. This one with Charles Barkley and Draymond Green. I didn't hear this. I wasn't watching it. I didn't, you know, I didn't watch any of the All Star Game at all. I didn't see any reason to. But I did read about these comments that Charles Barkley made on the TNT alt cast when discussing the Phoenix Suns and their situation. Here's what he said: He wanted to be KD, but he's not doing it. To me, it's got to be Booker. He's got to be your, your mental leader and your vocal leader to a certain degree. No disrespect to Kevin. Kevin's a follower. He's not a leader. He's proven that on all his stops. Booker's a hell of a player also. I think he's going to have to take the initiative and take this on team to the next level because, man, Kevin's a hell of a player. I ain't never going to say anything bad about him, but I say the same thing with Boston. One of you guys has to step forward. He has to step forward. And for me, for Phoenix to be successful, it has to be Booker. I'm not going to say anything bad about him, but I'm going to say something bad about, about Barkley. Him. No, no, about what oh, Barkley yeah, said yeah, about what KD. Saying. Yeah. Kevin's a hell of a player. I ain't never going to say anything bad about him. Well, then, or is it bad? Is it's, what Barkley said about KD bad? I think what Barkley said about KD is in some ways very correct. And you know I don't like Barkley, and I think he bashes on the Suns uh, way too much. But that. Yep. he's not. I mean, I remember talking to guys around the league, GMs and coaches and players, when the trade went down. And I and I sent you some of those notes and information, and I think that was one of the things came out of it. He, J- KD likes to fit in. He's not a leader. He's not gonna. He's not Chris Paul. He's not that leader. You know, he's not gonna. You know, he, behind the scenes, he may do some stuff, but he's not the vocal leader in the locker room. He's not the vocal leader on the court. KD wants the ball. He just wants to play basketball. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want all that other stuff about having to lead and having to motivate guys. And he's going to self-motivate himself, and he expects you to self-motivate himself. He's a great teammate. Makes everybody around him better that way. And we've, we've, we've there are a lot of guys through the course of us covering sports that led that way. They led by example. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but they weren't the vocal leader. And I don't think, as much as I truly believe that Charles Barkley hates the Phoenix Suns, I don't think what he said there is incorrect. I really don't. And you know that because in all my dealings with a lot of the people that I speak to, then you're privy to some of that. It's that was kind of one of the themes that came out of Durant coming here. Yeah, it's it's. I was making a joke about, hey, I'm not going to say anything bad about him, but but I'm going to say some right. bad stuff about him, and and maybe what he said wasn't all that bad. And and I, I read it. I wasn't super offended with it. I don't I don't know how KD will take it because I I think you're right on a number of fronts. I think that Chris Paul was this team's leader, and I hope that Devin Booker is filling that void. Or I hope that Kevin I hope that Devin Booker and Chris Paul were co-leaders enough on this team last year that when Chris le- left, Devin knew, okay, this is now I'm the leader. I- I'm I'm the captain. I'm I'm in charge. I'm the boss. I'm I'm the guy who's going to set the tone. I'm the guy who's going to get in some guy's face cuz I, I a, I don't think Kevin Durant is that guy. B, I don't think Bradley Beal is that guy. And C, I don't think those are both necessarily bad things as long as somebody in the room is doing it. Because I think Chris Paul did it very, very well. Chris Paul, right? Like, we we yeah. we saw Chris Paul for three years when he was here. He was the leader of that team, right? Like, he was he was the guy who set the tone and everybody knew it. I I assume that Devin Booker is doing it. I assume that Devin Booker is that guy behind the scenes because I don't think... Kevin Durant is really wired that way, and there's nothing wrong with that. He doesn't have to. Doesn't have to be. Why does greatness have to be defined by you have to be wired that way? Why? I mean, does, does that? No, does I don't. That think... in and of itself define Michael Jordan was that way, but not everybody's like that. Do we need everybody to be like that in order for you to be great? Michael made everybody better, but he was still irritating to a lot of those guys, sure. right? So was he Chris. Was irritating. So was Chris. I mean, remember when when Chris got here. He was like, "Hey man, got a couple years. After a couple years, he's gonna get on everybody's nerves. Yeah, because everyone's gonna just be sick to death of his crap, right? Like that was the whole. And I don't. I'm not saying that's why he's not here anymore. He's not here anymore because he got old and he was always getting hurt. But but it was yeah. Kevin Durant's not that guy. He does want to fit in. He does want to be a great teammate. Now, he does walk like the whole him and Kyrie to the Nets was orchestrated well before it happened." You know, that stuff is, like, behind the scenes. Like, is he working things behind the scenes? Probably. 
you know, I'm sure that that's, you know, that's always been the case with him. But as far as in the locker room, getting on guys and, um, you know, Chris would get on guys. Oh, Chris yeah. would get on you if you oh, weren't yeah. doing all the right things. That's just not who Kevin is, which is okay because he could lead by example. Ke- and, and Kevin might be one of the best ever to lead by example. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to play hard. I'm going to give you the best I have every single day. When has he ever shorted the fans uh, ever? Like, when has he ever shorted the fans? I'm not, I'm not going to play hard. Yeah. or I'm not going to. He almost always goes out there and gives you everything he has. I, I'll, and to counter Barkley's point, okay, is he a vocal leader? No. But think about how many times Frank Vogel, over the last two or three weeks, has individually credited Kevin Durant for his level of play, his level of intensity, his work ethic. That, is that not leadership? Right? Is that is that not and is that not Frank Vogel basically sending a message not only to us in the media or us in the fan base, but sending the message to people in the locker room. Be like him. Yeah. Do it like him. I'm gonna praise him for how he's playing defense defensively and how he takes up the toughest guy to defend every single night. We should all be like him. That's leadership, too. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be him. I'm going to get in your face, and I'm going to yell at you, and I'm going to demand that you be great. I'm going to go show you what greatness looks like. I'm going to go show it to you, and I'm going to go show you that it's not just because I'm an absurd shot maker and I can can score 30 in the blink of an eye. It's also because I give a damn. And it's also because I work really hard every single night to, to do things above and beyond being one of the greatest shooters of all time. That's leadership too, and I think that's fine. I, just, yeah. I don't think it. I don't think it deprives them of their ability to go far in the playoffs and win it all if they don't have that one alpha male proven leader. You know, if they don't have that guy, as long as they play ball together as a team, understand each other, and you know, work within the team concepts, they can go very, very far. Lauren, what you got for me? Kevin Durant just published another episode of his Boardroom podcast. Yes, I was showing showing that to Burns. And he addressed the Charles Barkley comments on him not being a leader. Hit it. I just I'm not as charismatic as my peers. I don't have a personality that's like fit for TV like my peers. And a lot of those stories of what we talk about don't get spoken about in the media. And that's just really what it is. It's like you got to sell what you're doing as well. And I haven't sold it enough, you know, and I feel like I don't I mean, I don't I don't feel like I need to. I don't feel like I want people to call me a leader, but I also don't want people to say I'm not one either. Okay, that that's an hour and that's an hour and 20 minutes, I think. And I showed Burns it. I was like, I'm going to hit this tomorrow. I'm going to listen. How you got that is great because that didn't that just come out. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Can't, Lord, can't, can't hear you. Sorry, we can't hear you. There we it go. was just archived about ten minutes ago. Okay. Okay. Because I showed it to Bernsey before we started the show. I'm like, I'm gonna go through this. Like, Good find and find. So you getting that is great. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's, but he, that's what he's saying. Like, I don't want to not be considered a leader, but I'm not. I don't sell what I do the way other people sell what I what they do. The next time we talk about this, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little deeper into this, and I'm gonna try not to get too deep into that it. That was great. But the, it's it's. I thought KD delivered a really thoughtful intelligent answer to that question because and he's I, actually a very intelligent guy i really applaud him for it yeah. and not and not taking the oh barkley bashed me i'm gonna go after him route i i love the answer i'll tell why a little bit later that was really really good